Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands, and welcome to this September Diaries video. Today, me and my friend are going to an alpaca farm, which I am super excited for, and we are gonna go on an alpaca walk. So basically, we're gonna go with a small group, and all of us are gonna get our own alpaca, and then for an hour and a half, we're gonna walk together with those alpacas, and I thought that's sounded so fun and so adorable and yeah i am very very excited and i am going together with a fellow finnish expat my friend taru if you've seen my previous videos you might recognize her let's start heading towards the alpaca farm it's located in sassenheim which is a smaller town close by leiden so with a car it should only take us about 15 minutes to drive there arrived to the alpaca farm and apparently for this walk we're gonna be 22 people and 22 alpacas so one alpaca per person we already have some alpacas over here look at the baby alpaca it's so cute are you excited Taru to go and walk Yay. with the alpacas Yay. <laughs> Before we went on our walk, we were gathered together and given a briefing on, ooh, a kitten! I mean, we were given a little briefing about the alpacas and how to handle them. And luckily, there was also some time to play with the kitten. Let's hope we'll be friends. <laughs> small break now for some reason my alpaca seems to like to walk around me in circles and I'm not really sure why but that's what we're doing the walk went well apparently my alpaca is a bit more of an anxious one and a bit of a nervous alpaca but apparently he was the calmest he's ever been before so I'll take that as a win although now for some reason we are going around and around and I'm afraid I'm gonna start feeling dizzy soon but yeah it's been super fun don't you think so as well <laughs> how's it going Taru have you become friends yes hello what was your name again Caesar hmm. Caesar salad and then I have my anxious little friend Castor, but it all went well, right? <laughs> Ooh, they did a kiss. Oh, where are we going? Ah, <laughs> 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 Alpa Kyllä. <laughs> I'm now back in Leiden, but it was a super fun time walking with the alpacas. So if you're in Leiden, for example, you should check out the alpaca experience in Sassenheim. Or if you live somewhere else, maybe you can check out and see if there would be something similar close to you. 
Today is a fun day because I get to spend the day with a friend from Finland. So I have a friend who is flying back home from the US and he has a long layover here in the Netherlands. That means we get to spend the day together. Um, not really sure what we have planned for today, but we're mostly gonna spend the day outside. Today it is a very warm day. It's like 31 degrees outside. And firstly, I'm gonna go to the train station and meet up with him. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, Henry, how does it feel to be back in the Netherlands? Back in Europe? Back in Europe. It feels great. It feels great. <laughs> We came to have some lunch by the water. So originally today we had planned to actually go to Amsterdam but when it's plus 30 degrees being in a big city is not very pleasant so we decided to be in Leiden instead. We also thought about going to a cat cafe but I don't think the cats will be very active either in this weather. Now eventually we decided to just come and chill in a park. To be fair my friends have been traveling throughout the whole night in this kind of weather. You kind of just want to Relax. We came to one of my favorite parks here in Leiden called Plant Soon. I have just arrived to Amsterdam for the evening and today I am meeting up with a fellow Finnish expat, a friend of mine who I actually knew already before I moved here. So yeah, she moved here a little bit before me and she was one of the people who talked me into moving here. Our plan is to go for some dinner together and that kind of stuff. But first, I need to find her. I'm now by the central railway station, but so is a lot of other people too. It's always very, very busy here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Mommy. We were planning on having ramen at this spot, but look at the line. It's so long. And it's a really small restaurant, so yeah, they're gonna wait in line for a while, so we're <laughs> we're gonna go for our plan B instead. Stella's first try on opening a Japanese soda bottle. Bigger than I had. <laughs> Stella versus bottle, bottle one, Stella zero. <laughs> Woo! Five minutes later. Cheers. Cheers.
for dessert we ordered some black sesame ice cream because me and Stella we once had it and we loved it and Stella kept talking that oh she wants some black sesame ice cream and then we saw they had it on the menu so of course we had to order some are you happy yeah <laughs> Well, Stella, how would you rate the restaurant? Hmm. I think 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the service was a bit slow, but the food was really good. The ambiance was nice, so yeah. 8 out of 10. It was really and nice. Probably also 8 out of 10. Today I have a day off and I'm just waiting for a bus that I'll be jumping on soon and I am going to a butterfly park today and then there's also this tea house I've been wanting to try that is located fairly close by so yeah I have a day off so I thought it would be fun to do something fun First thing I see <laughs> isn't butterflies, but a bunch of chickens. How fun. <laughs> Seems like it's much more than just a butterfly park and they seem to have a bunch of a different kind of animals. <laughs> Let's see what, what are all the things that we can find here. butterflies are huge but it's surprisingly difficult to capture them on camera it's uh, pretty cool there are so many different kinds of butterflies flying all around and they're flying like quite close I wonder if I would stay like super still for a long time if one would maybe land on me I thought in this room there were only butterflies and I had a heart attack when one of these little, I don't know, they look like some kind of ducks sitting there on the pole, <laughs> screamed and it, it, it gave me a heart attack. <gasps> oh, look at the little ducklings, all the babies. Oh, one of them is walking this way. Oh no, oh no, you're so cute. Hello little baby, you're so cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why are you attacking me? Is this your way of attacking me? You're not that scary though. I think that he or she thinks I'm gonna Give some food. This is kind of like being in a botanical garden, but more fun because of all the butterflies and animals in here. There's like, yeah, just so much life and so much going on and I'm, I'm loving it.
that I must say it feels also good to be back in the fresh air it was quite hot in there let's now next go to this cute little tea house I think we can walk there directions oh 37 minutes a 2.7 kilometer walk we can do that right you could also take a bus but it's only like two stops and that feels very I don't know feels dumb to take a bus just for two stops ah let's walk and then from there I can take the bus home you know you're in the Netherlands when this is the size of the pedestrian like walking street and this is the size of the biking street it's a <laughs> quite a big size difference here people tend to bike more than they walk I think such a cute looking place and they have so many teas to choose from i decided to sit outside even though it looked very nice on the inside but there was surprisingly a lot of people inside so i thought it's easier for me to film and talk and you know not bother anyone by sitting outside i didn't know which tea to order so i just asked the waitress what what does she recommend and she recommended the smiling buddha so at this one it's a green tea from China. It seems to be a bit of like a citrus lemony taste to it. So yeah. And I also got a toasty with a cheese and tomato. love asking for recommendations when I don't know what to order and usually I end up getting recommended something really nice and this tea that I got recommended is no exception it has a very nice and fresh and lemony taste and smell to it it's really nice and there's also something really cozy about eating toasties such a Dutch thing and such a simple food I don't know but I really love it so i'm gonna start heading home now but it's been a really lovely day spent by myself but also with you guys i never feel like i'm spending time alone when i'm filming it feels like i have company when in reality i'm talking to a camera it doesn't feel like i'm alone but i'm gonna start walking to the bus station now and i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you have enjoyed it if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up remember to also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any future videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye